so there's like nothing new on Netflix we can watch? No, we discussed this already. <sighs> and there's no parties we can go to. There's not any engaged dinners. And there's not even like Harry Potter trivia on Zoom or something. No. This sucks! Oh my god! 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 Oh my god. You will not believe what I just thought of. I've got it. The thing that we've been searching for, a way for us to feel relevant again. The solution to our boredom. It's time for us to found a startup. Yes, yes, yes. What's the idea? What idea? Like the idea for the startup. Oh, that. Yeah, the idea for the startup. So, like, I don't have that yet, but I've already posted a survey on generals so that we can better study our customers. Wait, what? Excellent, Stacy. That way we won't waste a second acquiring users once we have that next billion dollar idea. Now, let's see. What else would David Schoenthal advise? Hmm. I am gonna start a Zell Fellows application. Let me get that going in parallel. Yes, you go, Liam, but back up one sec. Billion dollars, that's not going to cut it anymore. By the time we've gone through like multiple rounds of dilution, not to mention the likely big one with SoftBank, we're going to be lucky if each of us ends up with 5% of the company. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 5% though of a billion dollars is still, um. $50 million. Have you forgotten your case math already? Hey, but Stace, honestly, like, according to the admissions committee, $50 million is, like, barely more than the average Kellogg grad's lifetime earnings. And also, the last time I checked, none of us can code. So, like, we're gonna need some, like, really professional, like, a technical co-founder, and that's gonna eat into our equity. Yeah, can't we, like, hire an intern to build the prototype? Like, I know a Triple M and they took an intro to software class. No, I mean, but like, <laughs> Triple M, honestly, I'm thinking like, the Valley. Like, Stanford sophomore. Ooh, ooh or like, mm -hmm. Harvard dropout? No, not a Harvard dropout. I mean, like, we don't want to get zucked like the Winkle by. Wait, are you guys kidding me? You guys are telling me you want to start up and you haven't seen the social network starring my ex flame, Jester Timberlake, who like hurt my other friend, Brittany, really, really badly. And like, I haven't seen her in a really long time because she's like under like conservatorship and stuff. Like we need to like free her. Also, I want to let you know, like this isn't a lifetime gig for me. I mean, honestly, the moment that we find us back and like go public, like I'm out. Oh, for sure. Like I'm going to leave too, but like, I'll wait like one or two years after you do. That way we don't send the whole stock market into a panic. Like a really cute idea. I like that. Oh my God, this is so exciting. I'm like getting so excited right now. We need mm -hmm. to sign up for the Kellogg startup competition. Mm -hmm. The prize is non-dilutive cash. So it like doesn't really matter that there aren't going to be any real investors or VCs there. Okay, and like also I hear that if we win, we get to work in the garage. And if there's anything that we know about startups is that every good startup sets up in a garage. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome to the Kellogg's Venture Challenge. Teams will now pitch their ideas to the judges for a shot at glory. We are building the Tinder for recruiting. Why waste all your time whining, dining, and interviewing when you can just cut to the chase and swipe right on exactly what you need, when you need it. Our smart glasses use advanced voice and facial recognition technology to help you analyze if that cutie who just gave you a compliment actually meant it or what's just being Kellogg nice. When it came to choosing the right people to fund a startup with, we wanted it to be representative right from the outset. So, our diverse founders consist of one white guy, one Asian guy, one black guy, one gay guy, and one woman. Roomies and Zoomies, please welcome with a big round of applause our last team on stage. Judges, 
for the last two months, this team has lived and breathed the lean startup mindset. I've given up my E2 lease and I'm crashing in my car. And for spring break, we only went to Mexico instead of Monaco. <laughs> Okay, but like enough about the past. It's time to talk about the future. Your baby future. And how it will never be the same. Judges, we present to you. Amble, amble, amble. What is the number one problem that you have when walking anywhere? That's right, navigating. And now with Amble, you don't have to do that any more. Okay, Amble is an AI-driven, autonomous, crypto-backed, sustainable footwear startup and marketplace. And we're pre-product right now, but once launched, Amble will sync seamlessly with your Android, your iPhone, and your Windows devices. All you have to do is Put down the location of where you want to go onto your phone and your ample shoes will automatically guide your feet in the right direction. Okay, but even more impressive, our new collision detecting software will prevent you from running into other cute baby amblers. Don't worry, trademark pending. So that way you can give your full undivided attention to that cute little baby cat video. Plus, every step that you take in our Amble sneakers is going to earn you one Amble coin, our proprietary cryptocurrency. The upside potential here is limitless. Our V2 will have ludicrous mode, which will automatically take you to a super spreader party of your choice. Oh, so there you have it. Amble, Amble, change the world one little baby step at a time in the right direction. The judges will now confer and come back with a result. In the meantime, please enjoy this message from the CMC. Hey everyone, I'm Janice from the CMC. If you are still looking for a job, join a job action group. They're so helpful, trust me. <laughs> and if you are done with your recruiting search, yay, congrats. <laughs> but remember, it's not done until you update your job status in CMS. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> Just do it, do it. We're watching you. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, we've heard some very interesting pitches today and we'd like to thank all of our teams for that. But after due consideration, we cannot in good faith associate our names with any of these startups today. We have chosen instead to donate this money to the charity of your choice by making this our official bid for the Dinner with the Garthwaites event at this year's Gab. Thank you and good night. Students, students, calm down, calm down. Calm down, students. You have nothing to be angry or disappointed about. You see, you have all made us proud. I just got off the phone with someone truly special and have some good news to share. The purpose of founding a startup is not to win cash prize money or create a sustainable business. It's not to gain resume points or scratch that founder's itch. The purpose of founding a startup at Kellogg, dear students, is so that Kellogg can claim that it is the nation's premier destination for MBAs wanting to become entrepreneurs. I just got off the phone with John Byrne from Poets and Quants, and he told me that you have all helped Kellogg leapfrog Stanford and the number one most important rating, number of startups founded. And we are now ranked first in Poets and Quants inaugural startup ratings. Woo! You did it! You did it! We did it! We did it! Your 
so I guess now that we're not doing a startup anymore, I guess we don't have to give up all that sponsored student money. Yeah, and honestly, this whole startup thing seemed way too risky and uncertain for me anyway. You're right. You're both right. Yes, okay, we can go back to our sweet old consulting firms. Oh